The International Institute of Social History is one of the largest archives for labor, left and social history in the world. It is an independent scientific institute in Amsterdam. The IISG is part of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. It was founded in 1935 by Nicolaas Posthumus. The large archives of the institute CA. 50 kilometers harbor invaluable and extensive papers of several international social movements and currents, including papers of individuals such as Rosa Luxemburg, Friedrich Engels, Karl Marx and Mikhail Bakunin. History of the Institute The International Institute of Social History was founded in 1935 by Nicolaas Posthumus. To examine how labor relations develop over time, IISG collected archives from all over the world. During the first years Posthumus succeeded in obtaining many papers from anarchists Bakunin manuscripts, other socialist and social democratic and Marxist movements from Germany and Russia. Before the Germans invaded the Netherlands in 1940, Posthumus was able to move the most valuable archives to London. During the war, many remaining IISG archives were transported to Nazi Germany. They were not destroyed. Most of the papers were rediscovered in Hanover in 1946, and some other parts were later found in archives in Moscow in 1991, and returned to Amsterdam. In 1989, the International Institute of Social History moved to New Premises, an old warehouse at the Krukius Weg in the eastern part of Amsterdam. This building also housed the Press Museum, but in 2017, that museum became a part of the Dutch Institute for Image and Sound Netherlands Institute voor Beeld en Geluid in Hilversum. Archives The personal archives at the International Institute of Social History are extensive, including among many others, the collections of the papers of Diego Abad de Santillan, Alexander Adebekian, Angelica Balabanov, Bernd Carlson, Ruth Fischer, Emma Goldman, Rudolf Hilferding, Karl Kautsky, Gustav Landauer, Arthur Lenning, Max Netlau, Theodor Liebknecht, Thomas Sick, Andre Gunder Frank and Leon Trotsky. There are also many institutional archives, among which the archives of the Russian Socialist Revolutionary Party, the Red Army Faction and the International Confederation of Free Trade Unions well over 200 meters. One of its most famous archives are the archives of the Confederación Nacional del Trabajo and its political arm, the Federación Anarquista Ibérica these archives were smuggled out of Spain during the Spanish Civil War and made their way to Paris branch of the IISG in secret. The archives contain information regarding military activities, correspondence and financial documents. Other anarchist archives were destroyed during the war or remain lost which makes these collection in the IISG all the more valuable. In the last decades the IISG also acquired the archives of Greenpeace and Amnesty International. A related institution is the Swiss Social Archives in Zurich. Historian of anarchism Paul Average wrote that the institute is the foremost repository of anarchist documents in the world. <laughs> 